What if I told you after watching this video you could live to 100 years old without dementia, cancer, and other illnesses you see so often? And no, I'm not trying to sell you on a miracle drug, but rather a miraculous remote island in Greece where locals have a unique way of living. Welcome to Ikaria one of five blue zones in the world where the oldest and healthiest people live. One in every three Ikarians live to be over 90 years old, and scientists from around the world have been flocking here to uncover their secrets on longevity. Could it be their midday nap when they close down their shops early, or the lively festivals where they dance into the night? Maybe it's the Mediterranean diet they eat, or their simple tactics to avoid depression and anxiety. Lucky for you, we spent a week unpacking their lifestyle and even got the opportunity to interview one of the oldest men on Ikaria, 98-year-old Vangelis. <laughs> At the end of the day, we all want to live longer, but these eight secret tips will help us stay sharp until the very end. So excited, we're finally here. I've been dying to come here since Ian told me about it. It's super stress-free, slow island, a ton of greenery and wildlife, not to mention some of the most beautiful beaches we've seen so far. We're currently at Arministus Beach. This is kind of like the first thing we're doing here, and I think it's a great way to start off the video, especially because as soon as we got here, not only did we see stunning blue water, but little turtles, let's go see them. There has to be over 50 turtles in here that come up. They just come to you because they think you have food and they really, like, they'll really come close. And without knowing it, we stumbled upon the first major secret of Ikerian longevity, the water. Since ancient times, people have been coming here to take a dip in the many radioactive thermal pools, which are said to have healing and therapeutic benefits. Although we didn't visit any of the pools, many locals told us not to worry because all the water surrounding the island is magical. The water here is crisp. It almost feels like I'm in a river or like a natural spring. You could see directly to the bottom. I'm glad we get to enjoy it like this because the rest of the time we're here in, in Ikeria, it's supposed to be really, really windy, like 25 to 30 mile per hour winds every day. Don't worry, we're not gonna let the wind blow us away. So we will have just a good of time, even though it's gonna be crazy weather. <laughs> Wow, that was about an hour and a half drive to say Kelly's Beach. I did not expect it to be that big of a mountain we had to go over. It's windy up top. This must be one of the most uninhabited islands that we've ever come across, especially on this side. You don't see any properties. It's untouched paradise. I'm just glad we made it here. Now we have to hike down to the beach. Getting here is not an easy task, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I feel like our bike deserves a little clap from you guys because I can't believe it got us here. It's only a 50cc bike. That's all we could rent here because of our international driving license and it kind of barely made it at some point. And this is why it's a top 20 beach here in Greece. Oh my gosh. It did take a little bit to get down here, but you could just tell it's worth it. There's a small beach around this corner and not a lot of people here at all. There's a quote that says, sometimes the best things in life do not come easy. And I think we're gonna celebrate getting down here with some mojitos. There's only one little stand here. I would say Ikeria is one of those places where I could stay for much, much longer. I wish we had two to three weeks because it's very calming, relaxing, and we basically have an entire house as our Airbnb. Cheers to Ikeria. Yamas. A local here once said, we don't try to add years to our life, we add life to our years. And that brings us to secret number two. Go with the flow and just live. I had no idea it was gonna be this beautiful and it's such a bonus. This is totally Greece's hidden gem. And it's funny because everyone keeps asking us, how did you hear about Ikeria if you're not Greek? Like people don't come here. They don't really know about it. You do need a full day here because of the drive here, drive back, hike up, hike down. It takes a lot of time. It's tiring. The sun is beating down on you. Just make sure to bring a lot of sunscreen. We're about to head back an hour and a half on our bad boy right here. We found possibly the coolest soccer field on the sea. We're gonna play a little bit and we decided for the next 24 hours we're gonna live 
like a true Ikarian and just relax. Show you what it's all about, just live in life. I know what you're thinking. There's no way soccer is one of the secrets to living a long life. Well, not exactly. Time to reveal number three. <gasps> exercise mindlessly. Ikarians do this a little differently and I'll reveal that later, but for us, we like to go swimming, hike to exotic beaches, and yes, play any type of sport like soccer. Now, more importantly, who do you think's gonna win this soccer match? Take your bets. Game point, here we go. Kicking in his <laughs> Look, I'm not even gonna gloat, because I think we all knew who was gonna win today. What? <laughs> oh my god. Cutting in real quick, guys, to talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with tons of classes to help you grow, get inspired, and advance in your creative journey. As many of you know, Ian and I are full-time content creators, and we make our source of income not only through social media, but also by working with brands and selling our own online products. To make it in this industry, you have to be good at the business side of things too, right? And starting out can be very, very intimidating. So when it came to selling our own products, this class by Ariana Hargrove taught us tools like email marketing to help us increase sales. For example, anyone that purchases our products will get an automatic email sent afterwards with a thank you, instructions on how to download them. This has allowed us not only to grow our business, but also helped us connect and understand our audience better without much hassle on our ends. If you're looking to increase sales or learn business lessons like this one, definitely check out Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to sign up with the link in the description below will get one month free of premium Skillshare. Who doesn't love free stuff? All right, guys, let's get back to the video. As we were heading back to the village of Christos, high up in the mountains where Airbnb is, we stopped at a cafe and saw a ton of old men playing Tavli, also known as Greek backgammon. And here lies secret number four. Surround yourself with friends and family. Some scientists have actually said that strong social connections, even in tier 100s, may be the most important rule of living long because it gives you a sense of purpose and strength. The elderly here on the island play a significant role in their families and communities, often taking care of the grandchildren. What needs to be known is Ikaria is not a me place. It's an us place. We're here on our beautiful patio toasting to an incredible win by Anna with a glass of traditional Ikarian wine. Drinking wine is something that Ian and Anna love to do, but it's also one of the reasons they say they live long here. They have a glass of wine with every dinner. Another reason we really wanted to come here was because they have fun traditional dances at night, but because of COVID, they will not be doing those. Anna kicked my butt at soccer, but I'm fine with it. I wanna give a huge thank you to the grandparents that live right above us. Their son owns this Airbnb. He hooked us up with this huge jug of olive oil right from their garden. The grandpa gave us some some tomatoes, four total. We've already eaten three with some salt, delicious. And then finally the grandma hooked us up with some apricot marmalade. They're so nice here and I just can't get over the fact that the 88 year old grandpa works his ass off in that garden every single day. Looks like he enjoys every single second of it. Remember secret number three, exercise mindlessly? Well, the Ikarians have their own way of doing things. Because of the fierce winds, rough sea, and lack of natural harbors, Ikaria was blocked from shipping routes, forcing them to become self-sufficient. That meant one thing, they had to farm for all their own food. That's right, they mindlessly exercise by farming, gardening, and because these are mountain villages, they have to walk up and down hills all day. We got to see this firsthand right when we arrived to Vangelis' house for the interview. He immediately jolted out of his seat to show us how he made his own wine. Just seeing the ease in which he walked up and down the stairs was mind-blowing, especially at the age of 98. Then, right after the wine, he quickly walked us to his very own garden where he grew tomatoes, grapes, cabbage, and by far the biggest zucchini we've ever seen. He gave us our own little personal bottle of red wine. Ian and I have to stop drinking so much and just start drinking a little glass every night. Before we start the interview process, we're having a little snack, ice cream. I love that they called it a break already. <laughs> it's ice cream. <laughs> what are the secrets to living a long life? Yeah, what, what what is his opinion on living a long life? 
Ποιο είναι ο λόγο που φτάσατε αυτή την ηλικία και είσαστε μια χαρά. Αυτό που προσπαθώ να μην έχω άγχο και να ζω στη φύση έξω, να αναπνέω καθαρό αέρα, να μιλώ με τα δέντρα και λοιπά, με τα ζωάκια. Αυτό μ' αρέσει εμένα και ίσως αυτό εγωήθησε. Ο παππούς του Βαγγέλη πήγε 99% πήγε. Τώρα, εσείς πώς το βλέπετε, φοβόσαστε λίγο το τέλος. Πιστεύω στο Θεό. Το θάνατο τον περιμένω έτσι φυσιολογικά, χωρίς διαμαρτυρίες, αφού έτσι είναι νομοτέλεια. The thing is, Vangelis' life has been very long, but it hasn't been easy. He's been through the Spanish flu, COVID, and in 1941, Nazis took over Greece and sent Italian soldiers to occupy Ikaria. This was a horrifying time for Greece, and over 450,000 Greeks died of starvation alone. Vangelis told us he had to live through six years of hunger, and during this time, only ate a little cabbage and potatoes, but mostly olive oil. <laughs> Εύχομαι να είναι η ζωή του σενάρετη με ηθική που λένε και θέλω να υπάρχει μια ισότηση, όχι να τρώει άλλος μαύρο χαβιάρι και εγώ να τρώω ένα κρομμύδι. Έχοντα. Αν αγαπάτε τους τουρίστες, αν θέλετε να έρθει τουρισμός. Γενικά οι καριώτες και εγώ περισσότερο είμαστε φιλόξενοι στους πάντες. Θα θέλετε να γίνονται σαν τη Μύκονο, σαν τη Σαντορίνη να έρθουν. Σαν τη Μύκονο. Η Μύκονο δεν υπάρχει βοήθεια, δεν υπάρχει αλληλεγγύη, δεν υπάρχει φιλοξενία. Υπάρχει χρήμα μόνο στη Μύκονο. Υπάρχει χρήμα. Αυτό είναι φιλοξενία. Είναι δύσκολη ζωή στην Αμερική. Μόνο να ζει κανεί ήσυχο. ήσυχο και ανεπηρέαστο από ξένε δυνάμει. After drinking wine, learning about life and enjoying our time with Vangelis, it was time to head home and practice the seventh Ikerian secret, and that is taking a midday nap. Even the animals on the island know 3 to 5 p.m. is time to be quiet and rest. It's so universal, all the villages are ghost towns and most stores are closed down for the day. That was one of the best experiences and conversations I've ever had in my life. Things I took away is to stop stressing, nap more, be more active, and drink wine with every single dinner. These are the moments that make my heart full. You've probably heard me say that before, but this is why I love to travel. And then we come back to our Airbnb, and not only did we get wine from Vangelis, but the Airbnb host and their family left us olives from their olive garden out here, and then some more wine. I feel like we have wine for a whole year. We're gonna be drinking this every dinner now, just a little bit because you're supposed to treat it like medication. As we head back for dinner, it's time to reveal the last major secret to living a long, healthy life. Number eight, eating a strict Mediterranean diet. Ikerians actually eat much differently than other Greeks because they don't eat a lot of fish or meat and focus more on a plant-based diet. Their diet mostly consists of homegrown fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, potatoes, feta, and a copious amount of olive oil. When Vangelis invited us back to dinner, of course we had to come. Greeks, they love their food and they love treating people to dinner, cooking, cleaning, it's very traditional here. There's about 15 cats out front. Vangelis told us that a lot of being happy was having pets around like cats and he feeds all these ones outside with scraps and of course they come back every single night. Help and set up the table. Gotta, gotta make sure you got your wine for dinner. Oh. And this is gorgeous feta. Look at that's a block. We got little prawns, big block of feta cheese, salad, fresh lettuce and olives, bread, potatoes, fries with zucchini, and then the fresh fish. Delicious. <laughs> Anna, tell us how you're feeling. I don't want to leave here. Why? Because I love it. Very sad to be leaving this island, but we're not done with Greece, which is a very, very good thing. If you missed any of our Greek videos, they're going to be up here in a playlist. If you liked the video or got any value out of it, like this or comment and even share it with your friends because it helps other people find us. We appreciate all your love and support, and I think this video can help all of us head into the future with a better mindset. We will see you in the next one.